good morning students today we are going to see the second chapter in chemistry that is periodic classification of elements already we studied in 9th standard that is a basic introduction how the elements are arranged in the periodic table so we know there are lot of 118 elements that is both all the metals non metals and semi metals are present so here how we can arrange these elements when based on their physical and chemical properties so various scientists they propose their ideas for example dobriner law of triads newlands law of octaves and mendeleev periodic table and finally henry mosley he only arranged the most of the elements based on their atomic number so in mendeleev's periodic table they had some discrepancies that means very difficult to overcome that means he uh, many uh, difficulties or default in there because some example i will say the atomic mass of argon is greater than that of potassium but argon comes before potassium in the periodic table and also mendeleev does not give any a correct position for the arrangement of hydrogen in the periodic table so there are various discrepancies arises for the mendeleev's periodic table but he gave the foundation for the periodic table so henry mosley only came he is a british scientist in 1912 discovered a new property of elements called atomic number so based on their atomic number only he arranged the elements in groups as well as in periods that period we call it as a modern periodic table so define modern periodic table now i am giving the definition for modern periodic law so this and all you studied in 9th standard even though i just recall so mendeleev periodic table means the physical and chemical properties of the elements or the periodic function of their atomic weight but here the only one difference is there for modern periodic law is based on their atomic number henry mosley arranged all the 118 elements in the periodic table so the table we call it as a modern periodic table now he arranged their elements into rows and columns so the horizontal rows are called as periods and the vertical columns are called as groups so horizontal rows are called periods means that is moving from left to right we call it as a horizontal periods so horizontal rows are called as periods there are totally seven period in the periodic table so later i will show the periodic table if you count means it will comes as seven that is moving from left to right they are totally seven periods in the periodic table the first period that is atomic number 1 and 2 that means only two element is present this is the shortest period and contain only two elements hydrogen and helium in the second period the atomic number is starting from 3 to 10 and this is also a short period first period is the shortest period and the second period is the short period it contains only eight elements third period it this is also a short period it contains eight elements but starting element is sodium and ending element is argon then fourth period is a long period because it contains 18 elements starting element is potassium and ending is krypton this includes eight normal elements and 10 transition elements normal elements means the elements which are belonging to s block as well as p block that is left side is called s block and the right side is called as a p block so totally eight normal elements and 10 transition elements means that is d block in between s and p we call it as a transition elements the fifth period is also a long period it contains 18 elements so here also it include eight normal elements and 10 transition elements then the sixth period is the longest period because it contains 32 elements this includes eight normal elements 10 transition elements and 14 inner transition elements so totally it comes to 32 elements so it is the longest period the last period is a seventh period which contains uh, it is a incomplete period that is a uh, incomplete period because 32 elements are there and also recently four elements have been included by iupac so the group that is a period is not correctly ended so seventh period is an incomplete period so first period is a shortest period second third is a short period and the fourth period is a long fourth and fifth period is a long period sixth period is the longest period and the seventh period is an incomplete period so totally the horizontal rows we call it as a periods that is moving from left to right see in the if you see the periodic table 
the left hand side we call it as a if you see the periodic table of the elements the first period that is a hydrogen and helium he second is a lithium to neon then third period sodium then fifth uh, fourth period starting is k for potassium and the fifth one starting element is rb that is rubidium sixth period is cesium and the seventh period is a francium so this is a skeletal that means the correct periodic arrangement of the elements based on the henry mosley now i am going to explain about groups so first i uh, in the first picture i explain about the uh, how the how many elements are there in the periods that is horizontal rows are called period that there are totally seven periods now i am going to explain about the groups groups means from top to bottom if you count from top to bottom how many columns are there that means vertical columns in the periodic table starting from top to bottom are called groups there are 18 groups in the periodic table so based on their common characters of the elements that means having a similar characters of the elements in each group they can be grouped as various families so first one is alkali metals that is lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium francium they are called as alkali metals group number 2 they are called as alkaline earth metals and group number 3 to 12 they are called as transition metals because transition means in between so they are called as transition metals group number 13 is boron family group number 14 because starting element is carbon so it is a carbon family group 15 is a nitrogen family 16 oxygen family or we call it as a chalcogen family group number 17 is a halogen family group 18 is called as a noble gas family so totally there are one up to 18 so totally 18 groups are there so the so these are the elements which are present in and the what are the families with this uh, group number and the family may comes in uh, objective type questions next point the lanthanides and actinides which form part of group 3 are called as inert transition elements that means in if you see the periodic table uh, bottom of the periodic table there are two rows are there they are called as a inert transition elements and uh, we call it as a lanthanides and actinides except group number 0 group 0 all the elements present in each group have the same number of electrons in their valence shell and as have the same valency this were this is not more important i will explain in the later in the class the next point as the elements present in a group have identical valence shell electronic configurations they possess similar chemical properties that means if we take the alkali metal lithium sodium potassium rubidium means all those elements which are having the similar physical chemical properties so they are coming under a particular group so the physical properties of the elements may be vary uh, but the chemical properties is does not vary so they are coming all the elements in one group they coming under one family so they are called as alkali family then second group number 2 alkaline earth metal likewise so group number 3 to 12 transition metal then 13 boron 14 carbon 15 nitrogen and so on so dear children in this video we saw about the just introduction part of the periodic classification of elements how, what are uh, state modern periodic law and how many groups and how many uh, periods are there and what are the characters of periods and what are the characters of groups in next video we will see in detail manner